To some, the third eye is only an absurdity and a form of spiritual nonsense to describe a higher intuition or wisdom. Yet in our world of devoutness, we believe in the gifts that accompany this great miracle. Today we shall learn how activate the third eye and harness wonderful treasures. The third eye is not a physical eye, but rather a symbol of spiritual sight. It represents the ability to perceive beyond the five senses and to gain insights into the deeper truths of existence when the third eye is open or activated, it is said that a person can access a higher state of consciousness and see beyond the physical reality. Think art as a bridge between the physical world and the spiritual world. When you activate it, you are tuning into a frequency that allows you to receive information from higher planes of existence. This can manifest as intuitive hunches, vivid dreams, or even moments of profound clarity and understanding by sad guru. The third eye is not a metaphor. It is a reality. If it opens up, it can change the whole perspective of your life, the the. RDI is believed to be an invisible eye located in the center of the forehead slightly above the space between the eyebrows. This spot corresponds with the location of the pineal gland, a small endocrine gland in the brain, which some spiritual traditions consider to be the physical manifestation of the third eye in esoteric traditions. The third eye is often referred to as the inner eye or the mind's eye, and it is said to be responsible for clairvoyance, seeing beyond ordinary sight intuition, and the perception of subtle energies. The third eye has been revered in many ancient civilizations. One of the earliest references to the third eye can be found in the ancient texts of Hinduism, where it is linked to the AGA chakra, one of the seven primary chakras in the human body. The Agna Chakra located between the eyebrows is believed to be the center of insight and wisdom in Hindu mythology. The deity Shiva is often depicted with a third eye on his forehead, symbolizing his ability to see beyond the physical world and into the deeper truths of existence. This eye is said to be the source of his immense P, Oer and knowledge similarly in ancient Egypt the third. Eye is associated with the Eye of Horus, a powerful symbol of protection, health, and restoration. The Eye of Horus was believed to offer insight and the ability to perceive beyond ordinary sight, serving as a talisman for those seeking guidance and wisdom in Buddhist tradition. The third eye is represented by the NNA, a spiral or circular dot, placed on the forehead of Buddhist statues. It's in Buddhism emphasizes spiritual awakening and the pursuit of inner peace and understanding in Western mysticism. The third eye is often associated with the pineal gland, a small endocrine gland located in the brain. The French philosopher and mathematician René Dert referred to the pineal gland as the seat of the soul highlighting its importance in connecting the mind and body, while scientific research on the pineal gland's connection to spiritual experiences is limited. Many believe that this tiny gland is key to accessing the third eye's potential practices that stimulate the pineal gland are also thought to help open the third eye in contemporary spiritual. Our practices the third eye continues to be a symbol of, heightened awareness and spiritual insight. Many people seek to open their third eye through meditation yoga and other mindfulness practices. These techniques aim to enhance perception, intuition, and a sense of connection to the universe. Practices such as Reiki crystal healing and sound therapy often incorporate elements designed to activate and balance the third eye, promoting overall well-being. This universe, ID highlights a common thread in human experience, the longing for insight and connection to something greater than ourselves over the years. There have been multiple myths arising to explain or disprove the significance of the third eye. Let's do a quick myth debunking to have a clearer and more grounded perspective on its true potential. One of the most common myths is that the third eye is a literal physical eye located in the center of the forehead, while some ancient depictions, such as those in Hindu and Buddhist iconography, show deities with an actual eye in this position. The third eye is metaphorical. It represents an inner vision and the ability to perceive beyond the physical realm. 
Another prevalent myth is that only a select few individuals, such as spiritual leaders or psychics, can open their third eye in reality. Everyone has the potential to develop their third eye, while it might come more naturally to some, due to their spiritual practices or inherent sensitivity. Anyone can cultivate this ability through consistent practice. Meditate. Ion and mindfulness, the journey to open the third eye, is personal and can be undertaken by anyone willing to invest time and effort. Some people believe that opening the third eye is inherently dangerous and can lead to negative experiences or psychic overload, while it is true that sudden and intense spiritual experiences can be unsettling. A gradual and mindful approach to the third eye is generally safe. The key is to approach the process with respect and caution. There is a widespread belief that opening the third eye will immediately bestow supernature. Our powers such as telepathy, levitation, or the ability to see ghosts. While the third eye is associated with enhanced intuition and perception, it does not confer magical abilities. Any extraordinary experiences are more likely to be subtle insights and heightened awareness rather than supernatural phenomena. Many people assume that the third eye is only significant for those deeply involved in spiritual or religious practices. However, the benefits of an open third eye can extend to anyone regardless of their spiritual background, enhanced intuity, on better decision-making and increased creativity, are valuable in everyday life. Whether one is an artist, business person, or parent, the third eye's relevance is universal, transcending specific spiritual traditions. Activating the third eye can be one of the most important individual growth in spirituality and mindfulness. We shall explore means like breathing exercises, dieting crystals, and the use of mantras. One of the most effective ways to activate the third eye is through focused breathing exercises. Let's see some of these exercises alternate. No, Strill Breathing or Nadi Shodhana is a traditional yogic practice known for its balancing effects on the mind and body. Begin by sitting comfortably with your spine straight and shoulders relaxed. Close your right nostril with your right thumb. Inhale deeply through your left nostril. Then close your left nostril with your ring finger and release your right nostril. Exhale fully through your right nostril. Inhale deeply through your right nostril. Close your right nostril again and release your left nostril. Finally, exhale fully through your left nostril P. At this cycle for 5-10 minutes, this exercise calms the mind and also stimulates the Agna Chakra. Deep diaphragmatic breathing, also known as belly breathing, engages the diaphragm and allows for fuller, deep, deeper breaths. This type of breathing increases oxygen flow to the brain, promoting mental clarity and focus, while also helping to activate the third eye how to practice in a comfortable position, whether sitting or lying. Place one hand on your chest and the other on your abdomen. Take a deep breath in through your nose, allowing your abdomen to rise, wait, while keeping your chest relatively still, exhale slowly through, your mouth allowing your abdomen fall practice. This deep breathing for 10-15 minutes each day. The increased oxygen flow clears the mind and enhances concentration. Breath of Fire, or Kapalaba, is a vigorous breathing technique that involves short, powerful exhalations and passive inhalations. This exercise helps to purify the mind and body and increases the body's energy level. How to practice sit comfortably with your spine erect. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Now exhale forcefully through I. Our nose while drawing your navel in towards your spine. The inhalation should be passive occurring naturally between exhalations. Continue this rhythmic breathing for 1-3 minutes each day. The 478 breathing technique developed by Dr. Andrew W. is a simple but powerful method to calm the mind and enhance focus. This exercise also helps to balance the nervous system. How to practice. Lie down comfortably and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose for a count of four. Hold your breath for another count of seven. EX exhale slowly and completely. Through your mouth for a count of eight, repeat this cycle. Four. Eight times the 478 technique helps to calm the mind and reduce stress. 
The saying, you are what you eat, also has significance when it comes to spiritual practices and third eye activation. Certain foods are believed to support the health and function of the pineal gland. Others are seen to dampen its activity. Dark leafy greens, such as spinach kale and Swiss chard, are rich in chlorophyll, which helps detoxify the body and promote overall health. These greens provide essential vitamins and minerals. LS that support brain function and maintain the health of the pineal gland blueberry are packed with antioxidants, particularly flavonoids, which protect the brain from oxidative stress and support cognitive function. These antioxidants can help reduce the calcification of the pineal gland, a process that can impede its function over time. Regular consumption of blueberries can enhance mental clarity. Raw cacao. The purest form of chocolate or cocoa is rich in magnesium and flavonoids. Magnesium is crucial for brain health and cognitive function, while flavonoids have antioxidant properties that support the pineal. Gland as an added benefit, raw caca can be a delicious way to nourish your third eye and promote spiritual awareness. Nuts and seeds, particularly walnuts, flax seeds and chaya seeds are EX excellent sources of omega-3 fatty acids. These healthy fats are essential for brain health and the production of melatonin, a hormone regulated by the pineal gland. Omega-3 SE also support overall brain function. Certain herbs and spices such as turmeric, ginger, and garlic have potent anti-inflammatory and detoxifying. G properties turmeric with its active compound. Curcumin helps reduce inflammation and promote brain health. Ginger aids in digestion and detoxification, while garlic supports cardiovascular health and the immune system processed foods, which are high in refined sugars and unhealthy fats, can have a detrimental effect on the pineal gland and overall brain health. These foods can contribute to the calcification of the pineal gland. Also, staying hydrated is fundamental for overall health drinking. Plenty of purified water helps flush toxins from the bee. Odi and supports the pineal gland's health aim to drink at least eight glasses of water a day to keep your body crystals and stones have been revered for centuries for their healing properties and spiritual significance. When it comes to activating the third eye, certain crystals are believed to possess unique energies that can help enhance intuition and spiritual awareness. One of the most popular crystals associated with the third eye. Amethyst is known for its calming and spiritual properties. It helps to quiet the mind and enhance meditation. Place an aim. Thyst crystal on your forehead during meditation lapis. Lazuli with its deep blue color spotted with gold has been valued since ancient times for its connection to wisdom and truth. This powerful stone is believed to enhance psychic abilities and inner vision. Wearing lapis lasery as jewelry or carrying it with you can keep its energy close. So light is known for its ability to bring order and calmness to the mind. It enhances rational thought objectivity and truth making it an excellent stone for third eye activation. It can help you connect with your in, near self and access deeper levels of consciousness meditate. With sodalite to foster clarity clear quartz is often called the master healer because of its versatile and powerful energy. It can amplify the energy of other crystals and enhance spiritual receptiveness and aligns you to higher vibrations. Guided visualization practices use the power of the mind's eye to stimulate and awaken the third eye, paving the way for enhanced intuition, clarity, and spiritual growth. One of the simplest and most powerful visualizations for third eye activation involves focus. Ing on the color indigo how to practice find a quiet, comfortable space where you won't be disturbed. Sit or lie down with your spine straight and eyes closed. Take a few deep breaths to relax and center yourself. Visualize a bright indigo light at the center of your forehead, just above and between your eyebrows. Imagine this indigo light growing brighter and more vibrant, with each breath filling your mind with its illuminating energy. Spend 5-10 minutes focusing on this light, allowing it to activate your third eye. This type of visualization involves 
imagining an eye opening on your forehead symbolizing in the awakening of your inner vision. How to practice sit comfortably with your eyes closed and take a few deep breaths. Visualize a closed eye in the center of your forehead with each breath. Imagine this eye slowly beginning to open, revealing a bright inner light as the eye opens wider. Feel a sense of clarity, insight, and heightened awareness filling your mind. Spend a few minutes experiencing this, observing any. Sensations, thoughts, or images that arise using the energy of a crystal in your visualization can enhance the activation of your third eye. How to practice choose a crystal associated with the third eye, such as amethyst or clear quartz. Sit comfortably with the crystal in your hand or placed on your forehead. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Visualize the crystals, energy merging with your third eye, radiating a bright light. Imagine this light cleansing you and filling your entire being with its energy. Let's explore how mantras and affirmations can help you unlock your inner wisdom. Mantras are sacred sounds or phrases repeated during G meditation to create spirit, spiritual energy and focus, the mind. The repetition of these sounds helps to clear mental clutter and align your energies. How to practice. Choose a mantra. OM or AUM is particularly effective for third eye activation due to its high vibrational frequency. Another powerful mantra is OM MANI PADME, HUM which is used to purify and open the mind. Find a quiet space and sit comfortably in a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Begin chanting your chosen mantra aloud or silently focus O. In the vibration of the sound and its resonance in your body, especially around the forehead area. Alternatively, affirmations are positive statements that help to reprogram the subconscious mind and align your thoughts with your desired outcome. How to practice choose affirmations that resonate with your goal of third eye activation. Two examples are, my third eye is open and clear and I trust my intuition. Whichever affirmation chosen, recite these affirmations daily, preferably in the morning and before bed, you can say them aloud. Write them down or repeat them silently during meditation as you repeat your mantras and affirmations. Feel the truth of these sounds and statements in your heart and mind. A combination of mantras and affirmations can also be a powerful mix. One of the biggest challenges to activating the third eye is dealing with mental distractions. The mind can wander easily, making it hard to focus during meditation and other practices. Regular meditation and breathing exercises helps train the mind to focus. Start with shorter sessions and gradually increase the duration as your concentration improve. As skepticism and doubt about the process and its effectiveness can hinder progress. It is normal to question the unfamiliar but persistent doubt can block your spiritual growth. Use affirmations to reinforce your belief in in the process. Statements like I trust my intuition can help shift your mindset. Understand that spiritual awakening is a journey. Stay patient and committed, allowing yourself the time to experience gradual progress. Sitting for extended periods during meditation can cause physical discomfort, distracting you from your practice to overcome this. Find a comfortable seated Position using cushions or chairs as needed to support your posture. Incorporate gentle stretching or yoga before meditation to prepare your body and reduce discomfort. If discomfort arises, take mindful breaks to adjust your posture and then return to your practice. Activating the third eye is a journey of self-discovery and spiritual UL awakening. It requires patience, dedication, and a willingness to explore the depths of your inner world by incorporating practices like meditation. Sue Gazing and Min, deaf or living, you can tap into the profound power of your third eye as you embark on this transformative journey. Open your mind. Trust the process and embrace the awakening that lies within your path to higher consciousness and deeper understanding is just a breath away.